Hello. Today I'd like to uh, tell you a bit of my story, a little bit about who I am, what I stand for. But before doing that, I'd like to just mention one little uh, observation I've noticed about life, which I've had quite a bit of, and that is how seemingly unimportant choices in life can often lead you in a different direction, in the same way that important choices can. But Sometimes you don't know what's going to happen. You make a decision and later on you look back on it and you realize, wow, if I hadn't have done that, what would have happened to me? And that's certainly been the case in my own life. Uh, as I grew up and uh, went through school, I was a very good student, but I got involved in music uh, um, as a teenager, um, became my passion, uh, uh, and joined a rock band. And because school was so stifling, in my opinion, and I really found I wasn't allowed to do the subjects I wanted, I found that I uh, lost interest in school and high school and um, ended up doing a job which I didn't want to do for a couple of years. But then finally making a decision, and that decision was to, to, to become a full-time drummer. And um, that absolutely affected my life because as the years went by, I became used to the life where I called the shots and where I wasn't le leading a normal life as like other people. You know, I had my hair long, which you couldn't do in those days if you had an office job. Um, and I was able to, to, to live my life in quite a different way. But later on, of course, I noticed that things changed and uh, electronics came along and um, economics of, of what we, you know, live gigs was that more people were hiring small bands, often without drummers and using drum machines instead. I found that in my mid thirties, I was um, finding it more and more difficult to earn a good living. I started to teach. I had about 30 students. But, you know, the pressure of um, family life, uh, children and uh, finances made I had to think of what else can I do to make money. And in my case, I knew I couldn't get a job. I mean, I had no work history. I'd been 15 years or more professional drummer. So I was literally forced into the area of entrepreneurship, uh, seeking out my own um, my own type of income my own way. And this led me to, to become creative. I had to start thinking, how can I, how can I do this? And so I did. Um, my first venture was a failure. It was a bookshop and I lost a lot of money. In fact, it put me into debt. I've talked about that in other places, but you know, you learn from these things. And, uh, I went on and then, um, later on, a few years later, I had another idea which was uh, turned out to be really good. It was really good. And it, it gave me all the confidence I needed to make me realize that, oh, this is something I can do. I can dream up an idea and make money. And uh, my first business was a voucher discount booklet, uh, which was sold through schools as a fundraiser. And um, I did that for three or four years. Uh, it only took me about two months a year to actually do it, but I made more than the, more than a year's income. And while I was doing that, I thought I need a I need more of a business. I need something a little bit more, uh, improve, you know, time consuming. So I started a uh, a, a, a dating uh, introduction magazine um, that went on for eight years before internet, and it was like a mail order mail order promoter. And I learned through that business. I learned a lot about uh, copywriting, uh, direct mail advertising. Uh, communicating to the mail, and also the importance of being able to uh, measure your success by by the results you actually get. You know, it's very, very scientific and very exciting. I got a bit bored of that later after it had been the platform was well established. I sold that, and then I went on to lose everything um, through through two more business ventures that failed miserably. Um, I lost everything: my house, I got into debt. So I was already in by this stage. I was already in my mid 40s. Not a good place to be. And um, that led me to come across a book, uh, which is called um, PT, The Perpetual Traveller, which revealed to me a different way of living. And at that time, I was in a very bad space. Um, but fortunately, I ended up getting a job teaching computers, which I knew would not be permanent, because I knew my mind would not rest uh, doing this. So I, uh, anyway, this book inspired me to create a new lifestyle for myself. And I thought, where well, I've never heard these ideas before. And they're basically the ideas that you could live an international lifestyle. Uh, you can uh, not don't consider yourself as a citizen of one country. And there were significant advantages in doing this, including um, saving a lot of uh, money on income tax. And uh, so I uh, pursued this, and it gave me a, a light at the end of my tunnel. 
And I realized that if I, nobody else knew about this. So I thought, well, maybe I could inform people. So I started to produce a newsletter, um, which became quite successful uh, while I was still teaching. And then I transitioned that to the internet in 1998. And uh, this became the foundation of my future career, which is an online marketer. And not only that, but I was writing about a lifestyle that I was living myself, which is uh, tr living in more than one country, having a portable income, uh, not being beholden to a boss, being able to call my own shots. And I can remember the very first day I launched out to my first new country, and it was an amazing feeling of freedom. Uh, walking down the street, it was sunny, it was bright and blue, and I knew that I had complete control over my own destiny in terms of what I do for a living, how I make my money. And this was a liberating feeling I'll never, ever forget. That was the year 2000. And uh, since then, I have continued doing that, um, and I have uh, had ups and downs with regard to business, uh, with regards to success, of course. You never escape the possibility of failure, no matter what you do. But the point is that all of this has led me to realize what I really valued in life was independence. And what's driven me more than anything else, more than money, has been the concepts of independence and freedom, personal independence, personal freedom. And of course, I understand the importance of money in that equation, the importance of being able to work at what you love, being able to earn money in a way that gives you that sort of freedom. And, and certainly one of the most effective ways of doing that has been through learning how to make money online, learning how to have an online business and be profitable so that I could just work wherever I wanted to be with my laptop and uh, lead the life I want to live. So I understand my basic driving forces and I've al always been desirous of helping other people do the same thing. I've always been keen, you know, a, a bit of an educationist perhaps, a communicator, um, a trainer, a teacher of sorts, um, in helping other people, those people who want to learn how to do this. I'm not a sort of person who pushes things on people, but people who want to learn how to lead a freer life and the mechanics of this, the processes of this, um, the steps you can take to make it real. And so that's been what I've been doing for the last 13 years. And I can say without a doubt, this has been the most happy time of my life in regards to my work the sense of satisfaction that comes from it. And certainly, I hope that uh, from the material I write, the videos I record, the um, my websites that I have, the services I provide, I hope that it attracts the sort of people that are looking for what I have found and that maybe what I have learned can be of some benefit to you in achieving the very same thing. So that's that's me. That's what I that's what I believe. That's what I've done. I'm very much a person who believes in individual rights, freedom, free enterprise. I'm very much against monolithic governments, Big Brother. Uh, I'm very much for the individual person who who has the right to take the action necessary to create the life you want. That's what I've been trying to do. That's what I believe I have done. And that's what I like to share with other people. So I hope that's been helpful and giving you some idea as to who I am and what I stand for. Thanks for listening.